Hello and welcome back to another installment of P. Finney's Farts and Crafts. In this video I'm going to be making a couple woodcut paintings uh, with these two pieces of scrap wood that I have. I already went and spray painted them white and today I want to first sketch out some ideas in my sketchbook and then once I'm happy with a couple designs I'm going to sketch them bigger onto the actual boards. So let's get started. All right, I think I have a general idea of what I want. I'm thinking I can paint a mushroom on this little board, and then on this big board, I kind of want to just make a funny little man giving us a big thumbs up. So he'd probably be... I want him to like take up the whole frame of this board. So he'd be pretty wide. All right, I think that's the one for the little thumbs up guy. Let's take a little closer look at him. All right, now I need mushroom for this board. It's gonna be in a square. So it's gonna be pretty squatty, I think. Maybe I'll give it glasses. It's a cool mushroom. I think there's a mushroom in Spirited Away that has kind of a mustache like this. Maybe that's why I like it so much. All right, I think that's what I want for Mr. Mushroom. These two right here. I'm gonna start sketching out these guys onto the boards now. I think I want to try and take up as much board as possible so that I'm not losing a lot of material. This is pretty much the only time that I use pencils. <laughs> Everyone always calls me crazy for sketching with pens, but I don't know. I'm more of a pen guy. So right now I'm just kind of doing some really light dotted line sketching just to get a general idea of where my outlines are going to be. You can see here. And this is the main line that I'm concerned about at this stage because I'm going to be cutting out the silhouettes with a jigsaw later. So once you cut the material you can't really get it back, so I'm gonna try and get this as close as I can to how I want it. I like his little those little feet. They remind me of Bean's feet. Bean's right here, actually. All right, I've got my basic forms laid out now. Uh, I've got these sharpies. I'm gonna sharpie the silhouette and this is just so I know for sure which lines I need to cut and which lines I should not cut. I just realized I shouldn't have sharpied that. <laughs> Whoops. I almost have to remember not to cut there. Let's make this extra thick as a reminder. Okay, now I've got my silhouette down, and just for a reference to me in the future while I'm painting this, I'm gonna darken up these pencil lines a little bit too. I've done one other woodcut painting in the past, and it was a potted plant with pretty much the same round glasses as this guy. So I think this mushroom guy is turning into like a combination of a bunch of other stuff. He's got the plant glasses, he's got beans feet, and he's got the little mustache from what's that movie again? Spirited Away. Alright, I 
think this guy's ready to be cut. Here's a better view of him. Alright, now let's sketch out the little thumbs up guy. This one's gonna be a little harder to upscale onto this big board. So I think I want his hand, top of his hair, pinky, and the nose touching the sides of the board. Let's see if I can pull this off. This board's big. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Oh. I don't know how well the camera can see this, but I've got all my pencil lines down, and I'm gonna move on to Sharpie. Oh, got all the Sharpie down for this guy. Just gotta clean up some of my pencil lines. Now both of my paintings got their pencil lines and their sharpie lines. Now I'm going to mark a few spots for drill holes because I'm going to be cutting out these silhouettes with a jigsaw. I'm going to need to drill a few holes to stick the blade of the jigsaw through tight corners like this one. This guy's going to have a lot of drill holes. And now that the drill holes are marked, in a couple weeks I'm going to be able to get my hands on a jigsaw and cut these bad boys out.
Hello, it's me again. I started recording this video like almost a month ago, I think. I've been really busy, so I've only been able to work on these paintings like once a week. I've just got one more color for the hair, some white reflections on the glasses, and then all the line work, and then a coat of varnish, and these babies will be done. I've been thinking about what color I want this hair. I can't decide between purple and white, so I'm just gonna do both. I usually just take a medium small paintbrush to do the line work, but today I'm going to try out this black paint pen. All right, I'm done with the paint pen. I've got all the line work done. Now I'm gonna go in with a brush just to get black on the sides of the paintings. I don't have any varnish, so I'm just gonna use this glossy spray. 